I'm Evan and welcome to my brand new channel. In this channel, I'll take you through the journey of me starting in mountain biking. I have a background in BMX, I quit that two years ago, and now I've just received something in the mail that will forever change my life and I'll jump into the mountain bike scene. Now I'm just gonna get this unboxed and built up and give you the first impressions. Well, that was really nicely packed and it's actually mostly together. Uh, what I like is that the chain is on and the derailleur, derailleur, whatever. I don't even like that word. I like how that's on because I really don't understand how to work on mountain bikes just yet. I only know how to work on the very simple BMX bikes. And I'm really liking what I'm seeing so far. All right, got the bike built up. Took a little bit of time, especially with the dropper post because never really installed one of those before. The dropper cable is already fraying and it's actually way too long for my liking. Uh, so is a couple of the other cables and they're pretty tangled right off the bat. So I don't know what that's about. These pedals probably are not gonna work. I'm gonna take off that kickstand, the reflectors, whatever that thing is. And one of the grips is already dead, no matter how much I tighten it. It's uh, dead on arrival. But it shifts pretty well. Um, overall looks pretty slick. And I'm 5'9", and I was thinking that the standover height was gonna be really tall, but it's not. So I was expecting to have to uh, slam the seat post and everything, but I, that's not necessary for my case. So let's go ahead and make those little modifications. All right, out here for my very first ride. It's about 5.30. Feels pretty good though. Um, probably about 85 degrees already. So I'm hoping I don't get like a flat or something. Um, I brought um, CO2 cartridge and uh, Allen keys. So let's hope it goes okay. So real quick before I get riding, here's a few of my modifications. I swapped out the grips with some old uh, lock-on BMX grips that I have. And then I uh, just had some cheapy pedals that are just better than the stock pedals. And then I wrapped a tube around I wrapped a tube around the chain stay to protect it and then wrapped it with electrical tape and started coming up and then added a saddle bag that's where I'll keep my, my backup tools and then some uh, water bottle cages. Right away it was evident that the Schwinn Axum was a very capable bike albeit heavy the Axum ate up rock gardens. The 29 inch wheels rolled over anything and everything, but it came at a cost. The bike wasn't as nimble as I'd like and the rear end felt very heavy and kind of like a tank, especially when jumping. To be honest, this bike is so much fun and it's easy to forget that it's a Walmart bike. Over the really rough stuff, the Axum did have a problem with dropping the chain. This chainstay add-on that others have recommended may have helped, but still wasn't a solution to the problem. The bike was a very capable climber, and I was really impressed with the range on the rear gear set. The biggest limiting factor on this bike is the mechanical brakes, which I plan on replacing first. I've went on five rides so far, and I can definitely recommend this bike to others. It helped me get into the sport of mountain biking, a sport that looks extremely expensive from the outside looking in. I've wanted to mountain bike for years now, but the thought of spending two to three thousand dollars on a bike just to get started, and who's to say if I even like it? Stay tuned for more videos where I will be carefully upgrading this bike on a budget and comparing Strava segment times with the new parts 
to see if it really made a difference. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.